Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Chrysler Nationals. Come to a great Carlisle event. You can see the description in the description of this video if you want to find out those events. So I'm today with Woody and Sandy. Woody, your last name? Hummer. And Woody, what year making model is this one? 1962 Chrysler Imperial LeBaron. And this one's in the Survivor tent. Yes, it is a Survivor. <laughs> How did this car end up staying so long? Well, I've had it for probably 25 years, approximately 25 years. And it was garaged uh, in a barn. It was garaged in a big barn up on, on a wooden barn floor, and it's only about six miles from my home. Is that right? But I knew it was there. But and never so thought I, we'd own it. I never there you I'd go. And Sandy, you're a car girl. Yes, I am. Any messages for the other car girls? Yeah, you should come on out and see the beautiful cars here, all the Chrysler products. It's just a wonderful time. And they even got good food, and the restrooms are clean. It's a wonderful place. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. So here we have the Imperial, and this is the big dog. If you had some cash, you roll in this. This is just amazing. So now come along with me. The one thing that's really nice about the 62, you can see that split in the bumper, but notice the headlights. Yeah. They call those the floating headlights. Yeah. The problem with this kind of a car is you used to get some snow packed back in there based on where you live, and then you get that well rusted out. So to see one in this condition, let's step back and take a look at it overall. <laughs> it's really just tremendous. How many imperial LeBarons have you seen? And by the way, the LeBaron only comes in a four-door. Yeah. So how many of these have you seen when you guys are out traveling? Not many. Probably one or two at the most. One or two at the most. So come on along with me, let alone the fact that this is Survivor. So let's take a moment. We've got the imperial there. And look at the wheel. You can see that big spin with the, with the red dot in it. Again, the floating headlights. The hood ornament, which I'll feature, is this big eagle with the wings completely in the upright position. The beautiful glass, the interesting roof line. Notice that embossed roof line there. Beautiful curved glass, nice chrome across the front with the windshield wipers, and just the handles tucked in. And this piece right here, the Baron coachwork. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And that wraps around to the other side. And take a look at the tail lights, which I think they, they call these the bird catchers. I haven't heard that. Is that the first time you've heard that? Yeah. Because the birds would be caught in here. <laughs> and as you can see, you can actually see around it. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. If you look back there, you can see my hand through it. And with those beautiful fins, and we'll take a, we'll take one more step back. This is one big, wide car. We've got the beautiful reverse lights there. Just everything so well done. We have our gas here, as you can see, and uh, even the nice imperial piece there. Can we open the trunk for a second? Sure. got that casket like sound to it as you open it <laughs> sounds like something from uh, the video thriller in the 80s with the nice sound deadener in there so well done there's your jack your jack instructions and lots and lots of room okay we'll close that let's uh, let's take a look at the interior shall we may I open it sure thank you so let's just notice I just want to open both back doors for a moment, or both doors. So you can see it's got this hard top look to it. The front greets you to the word Imperial. The back does not, but look at all the detail, even for the person in the back. You've got this grab handle across the back, like the old coachwork cars, and many times you throw a blanket. Notice the different heights in the back seat, front seat. This beautiful fabric, I hope that the camera can pick that up. This really has seat covers on it. Seat covers. Since new. 
Yeah, they put the seat covers on in there new years ago. So, so it has the seat covers covering that. Here's the command center <laughs> with a nice Thunderbird look there, the word LeBaron. You have your badge, your pedals. I'm gonna close this and show you the overall dash. As we get closer, you'll see we've got the adjustable seat. We have the push buttons, this great dash. I'm gonna turn that just a bit so you can see that there. Lots of look there. Your defroster, notice your turn signal at the top there. You got your turn signal there, your radio, and LeBaron. Now one option this car does not have is air. Pull for out the brake brake pedal. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Yeah, you know you're right. I thought kind of funny driving, but you get used to get used to the oval wheel. Can we pop the lid? How much fender between the engine compartment? Wow. What do we have under the hood? 413. 413. So it has more than enough power. So when you guys are driving this together, how often do you drive it? We drive it quite often to a lot of the shows. I mean, when we were really very active with WPC and wherever when there was, no matter where it was. Um, we have driven it cross country. Yes. And north, um, north. we, we drive, drive it. it wherever we go. What's the reaction when you're driving it? Wow. And you could live in that car. And, <laughs> and, and I wouldn't really? even, it wouldn't even bother me, they yeah. say. A lot of people say, well. <laughs> it's and, bigger than people's apartments in New York. And on the road today coming out from we live in Milford New Jersey and coming out on 80 all we did a 78 was all got thumbs up all the way out and thumbs. that's a good sign we love it we love it yeah. what a great car yeah. let's uh let me just walk around a little bit lots of room up here yeah it's, it's hard for me I'll just try to use my forearm as an example of how much room you're looking at there I see two horns at least How many miles do you have on it? 62,000. Original miles? Yes. Wow, 62,000. I when I bought it. So it doesn't get driven that often. Let's fire it up, shall we? to that exhaust. Woody, if you would step on the brakes for just a second. Those are actually on. You can see it. One more time. You can see that there. And notice, I'm behind it. You can barely hear it. Can you give it one little rev? Sounds powerful. All right, we'll shut that down. Shut it down. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's, uh, come on with me. He's focused on shutting that hood. I see that. Stand right next to him. Okay. Why don't we, uh, why don't we take it for a ride? Okay. So here we are with Sandy and Woody, and we're in the 62 Imperial. And man, this is a classy ride. What do you think? 
It is a classier. Well, can you feel it? Is oh, it yeah. great? I mean, the, well, let me answer your question. I can't feel it, which is why it's absolutely great. We're going, this, go right. we're going that way. Oh, okay. That's all right. That's what nobody behind. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you can't feel it. Like even there, we just braked and most people would have panicked and we were fine. <laughs> this is just great. I'm going to show as you turn that, I'm going to show that wheel too. And I'm also noticing the speedometer. Go ahead as you pick up the speed. It goes that, that ribbon turns color. Yeah. How fast do we have to go to turn it to a different color than red? Uh, it stays that color. It stays red. That color. Yeah. Okay. That would be a problem for me because that's kind of like a video game and I'd want to see how far I can get it to go. Uh, the 41 Plymouth we're talking about, that does change color. Does it? The faster you go. Yeah. The, the faster you go. Yeah. Let me show people just a little bit of this ride and show you how comfortable it is. That big eagle guiding us. Is the steering? What is the steering? It's full time power steering. Try it. Ram it home. <laughs> it's perfect. It's better than a new car. Yeah. What a great car. What a great day to show people. Sandy, how do you like riding in this one? I love riding in it. I like, like I said, I. Um we took our young, our, when our youngest daughter was getting married, she did want a limousine. She said, Daddy, can you take me to the we, oh, the reception and the wedding? In uh, this car. In this car, because it was at a dinner theater. And so we took, she came in this car and she loved it. She thought it was just great. And everybody there, I think they was looking at the car just as I much as the right bride. Red, okay. <laughs> well, yes. Yes. Well, not only that, but... Uh, I think, you know, this car really in 62 is the top of the line. The LeBaron's as big as it gets, as long as it gets. It's, a, it's you know, Chrysler's most impressive product at the time. So why not ride in this? Exactly. I mean, what an amazing car. You don't get the chance to see these. It's really a treat for me to be with you guys. And what a fun ride. So quiet. Do you ever do you ever fall asleep driving this thing? No. I mean, it's so quiet. Like you, you wouldn't fall asleep in a muscle car, but this thing, boy, I'll tell you, it's so cozy. Now we're going to turn right here. Oh, we're going to turn oh. right at the. Uh, we oh. got one more light. Oh, one more. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll make sure we get back. Oh, okay. That's okay. Not this, not this one. Then. Okay. But what a great car. And a great day. And a great day. And great fun. And, and great company. Great and company. It's, it is. It's a, we look forward to it every year. When we first got invited, we didn't know what to expect. But um, we look forward to it every year. And the first video for this car. The first video. Yeah. And um, actually, um, yeah. Wonderful. We're going to make a right here at the Speedway. But what a great time and a great car. I just want to show that flashing there. And, okay. and you can't hear that either. Oh yeah, you're right. You can't hear that. Our problem is sometimes we, when we are making a turn, we forget about it and <laughs> it's still on. And then a car in front of us will turn their signal on and then we'll say, are they turn? They can't turn here. There's no place to turn. Oh. They're letting us know we got a signal They're letting us know on. that ours is still on. Right. I just want to show how long the back of this car is. You can kind of see those taillights back there. What a wonderful vehicle this is. Well, guys, thanks so much for being on the channel. Thanks for trusting me and getting in the car and having a good time. That's thanks so great. much for being on My Car Story. Well, thank you very much for you, yeah. Lou. We appreciate it very much. Thank our, you. Our family will love it. Thanks.